The Hinge Plus test is a, is a test to differentiate peripheral from central cause of otigo in acute vestibular syndrome. Acute vestibular syndrome is when a patient comes in with acute onset of vertigo, nausea, vomiting, and imbalance. So how do you differentiate between a peripheral and central cause of uh, acute vestibular syndrome? We do the HINS test or the HINS plus test. The HI is head impulse test. So that's the first part of the HINS test. And how it is done is, which is head is flex slightly, head nose, We look for saccadic movements. The test is positive. There is a saccadic movement. It indicates vestibular neuritis, which is peripheral vestibular in origin. If it is negative, there is no saccadic movement. It may indicate a central pathology or a stroke. The next is we look for nystagmus. So we ask the patient, look at my finger. Hello. Hello. If there is gaze evoke or direction changing nystagmus or a vertical nystagmus, that indicates a central pathology. However, if there is a horizontal beating nystagmus which obeys Alexander's law, that indicates a peripheral vestibular pathology. The final test is test of skew. So here we ask the patient, look at this. We cover one eye, move to the other eye, and move back to the other eye. If there is a vertical skew, vertical movement, that indicates a central pathology. The final test is to test for hearing loss, and a simple way of doing that is by doing the Weber's test. You hear equally both sides? Yes. If there's evidence of sensory neural deafness, then that is suggestive of central pathology or a stroke. So, when doing these four tests, if any one of it is indicative of a central pathology or a posterior circulation stroke, we have to treat the patient as a patient who has suffered a stroke. And those signs are a negative head impulse test, gaze evoked nystagmus or vertical nystagmus, a positive test of skew or sensory neural deafness. Any one of these is suggestive of a posterior circulation stroke.